welcome to West London. This area is known for having some of the most expensive real estate in the entire United Kingdom, but it's also known for having beautiful leafy areas and a nice, relaxing, chill setting. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things to do, see, eat, and drink around the area as featured in my casual tourist guide to West London. So let's start by going and having a really delicious brunch. We're right outside Paddington Station and also right next to Darcy Green. This is one of the coolest places that you can have brunch in London because, well, you're on a canal boat. This canal boat was originally created in 2012 for the London Olympics, but then it got a makeover and now it is a great place to have brunch, lunch, dinner, or drinks. You guys know I love a vegan meal, so this is perfect. This is the summertime portobello. It's got portobello mushroom, other types of mushroom, on top of activated charcoal toast, and there's pesto and vegan cheese, and loads of other stuff. Looks really good. slower than the Heathrow Express, but it's a bit cheaper as well, or a lot cheaper. It is important to be comfortable with taking the train and the tube in London because even though we're exploring only one part of the city in this video, it's still pretty expansive, so you might not be able to walk everywhere. So don't be afraid to hop on the tube. We're only on it for three stops, but it's gonna save us about 20 minutes of walking. We are in one of the most beautiful parks in London, right here in West London, called Holland Park. It's spread across 54 acres of what used to be Cope Castle, which was this big Jacobian mansion hidden away in the woods of London back in the early 17th century. It doesn't really exist anymore. I love this park because it's not as big as some of the other major parks in London, so it's super manageable for walking around, and it is so beautifully maintained and manicured. And if you come to Holland Park, you cannot miss Kyoto Garden. This is Kyoto Garden. It was created back in 1992 to celebrate the Japan Festival happening in London at the time. It's a really beautiful spot. There's a Japanese Zen garden, waterfalls, a huge pond with massive koi fish in it, and there's even peacocks here. This is a beautiful part of the city, and it's a great place to come to feel like you're not in an actual city, except don't come when the kids are off school because, pro tip, it's very crowded. If you're watching all my videos and you're struggling to keep track of all the things I'm telling you about that you want to do when you're in London, then grab my free London must do's tracker. It comes with a principal worksheet to help you keep track of all the things you want to do. Plus I give you 15 of my top recommendations of what to do in London. Click the link in the description box to get that for free. This is Bluebells, one of my favorite cafes in West London. It's right on Portobello Road, but right around the corner from Goldborn Road. And I love coming here for a coffee. They do very good coffee here. The food's great, very good homemade pastries. And on sunny, warmish days like this, you can sit outside and enjoy your food. I've ordered a scone, which 50% of the UK would say scone. Instead, I say scone. And the big debate always here is whether you put the cream first or the jam first, but I personally put the cream first and then the jam on top. And that's just how I do it. I can't wait to see the comments saying that I'm wrong and I'm a terrible person. <sighs> Where Graphic Gallery, which is right off of bustling Portobello Road. And you always think of Portobello Road, you think of 
beautiful, quaint Notting Hill. But we're actually in the back of the gallery and we're gonna be doing a graffiti class. It's gonna be cool. We're here with Jose. He is our graffiti teacher. He's gonna be teaching us everything that we're doing in the class. Thanks. Okay. Good for the dish. Yeah, right off. Okay. Right off. 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 Right